Leicester, Reading, Worcester, Edinburgh, Warwick, Marleybone, Durham, Borough, London. Hi everyone, it's Agnieszka Murdoch from 5 Minute Language. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Today I've got a slightly different setup. I've recently moved house, so I'm still experimenting with the best kind of setup for YouTube videos. Uh, so you might see it change over the next few weeks. But let's get started with today's video. So today I'm bringing you a very popular topic. Uh, it's the topic of how to pronounce certain British place names because they are often mispronounced. And they're not only mispronounced by uh, people who are learning English as a foreign language, but they're often actually mispronounced by native English speakers. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one that you heard at the start of this video is Leicester. It's a very commonly mispronounced uh, place name, uh, especially by people who are learning English as a foreign language. Often in London, which is where I live, uh, you hear tourists referring to Leicester Square, uh, which is one of the main kind of tourist sites in London. Uh, and it kind of makes sense to pronounce both the C and the S because they are both in the word, but actually only the S sound is pronounced. So it's not Leicester, it's Leicester. The next one is Reading. You might be tempted to pronounce it as reading, as in I'm reading a book, uh, but actually the place name is Reading. There is a famous music festival that takes place there, Reading Festival. That's something that many people know about when they live in the UK. The next one is Worcester. Again, it's quite a strange pronunciation because there is an O and an R and a C and an E in the word, but only uh, one of those sounds is pronounced. So remember, it's Worcester. The next one is the Scottish city of Edinburgh. Edinburgh. So the sound at the end is kind of like bruh, not bug. Even though the letters at the end are B-U-R-G-H, which would suggest that it would be pronounced Edinburgh. And that's actually how it's pronounced in some languages. So in Polish, for example, it's called Edinburgh. So you can hear the G at the end, G. Uh, but in English, you can't hear the G, you can't hear the H, it's just Edinburgh. The next one is Warwick. Warwick has a W in the middle, but it's not pronounced. So you don't say Warwick, you actually have to say Warwick. The next place is a town in the north of England uh, and it's called Durham. It's got a famous university, so you might hear um, the name quite frequently when people talk about the university. It's Durham. Even though there is an H in the middle, it's not actually pronounced. The next place is Borough. Borough is actually a place in London um, and it's got a very famous market. So again, if you're visiting London, you're likely to be visiting uh, Borough Market. Uh, even though there are two O's in the word and there is a G-H at the end, um, you actually only pronounce two syllables, Borough. The next place is Berkshire. It's a county in England uh, and uh, it's got a E. Um, after the B, which would suggest that you should say Burke, but actually it's Bark. Um, and the bit at the end um, might uh, look like something that's pronounced like Shire, but actually it's just Share. So Berkshire, that's how county names in England are pronounced. So for example, Buckinghamshire, Bedfordshire, Hertfordshire, um, they all end in Shire, which is pronounced Share. The next place is Bicester, and this place name is very similar to Leicester, we've already covered that, and Worcester um, is the same kind of principle. Uh, there is a C and an S there, but only the S sound is pronounced, so it's Bicester. The next place is a place in London, uh, it's Chiswick, and the place name is quite similar to Warwick, which we've already discussed. There is a W there, which would suggest you would pronounce it Chiswick. But actually the W is silent, so it's just Chiswick. The next one is Gloucester, again, a popular place in England when you're visiting. Um, it's got a C and an S, just like Leicester, uh, but it's pronounced Gloucester rather than Gloucester. The next place name is Guildford. It's a very popular commuter town, so a place where people tend to live and then they commute to London to go to work. Um, so you will hear, if you live in London, you will hear this place name a lot. Uh, it does have a D in the middle, but the D is not pronounced. So it's not Guildford, 
It's Guildford. The next place is another one which has a W which is not pronounced. Uh, it's Norwich. It does have a W there, so it looks like Norwich, uh, but actually um, you just say Norwich. The next one is Plymouth which is a place in the southwest of England. And the first part of this place uh, is P-L-Y, uh, which uh, looks like it should be pronounced ply. Um, and then the second part is spelled like the word mouth, uh, but actually it's pronounced Plymouth. So the Y is pronounced like almost like an I, and then uh, the second part of the word is just miss, so Plymouth. The next one is very tricky. It's a famous place because it's got a famous cathedral. I've never been there before, but I really want to go. I've heard it's really good. Uh, and the place is Salisbury. And uh, don't ask me for the reason why it's pronounced the way it is, uh, because it does look like Salisbury or Salisbury. Um, the I in the middle is not pronounced at all. Um, the word is just kind of very short when you hear it, but it's slightly longer when you see it spelt. Um, so it's Salisbury. The next place is a place in London, in South London. Um, it's Stratum. And again, it's got an EA letter combination in the middle, which might suggest that it's pronounced like the EA in mean, so Streatham, uh, but actually it's Stratum. Um, the TH letter combination is not pronounced uh, like in the word uh, thought, for example, so it's not a th sound, it's just um, almost like a T sound, so stratum. And the final one is London. So the way the O's are pronounced is slightly different to how they're pronounced in other English words, and this is something that took me a really long time to get when I first moved here. Um, I used to pronounce it very differently, I used to really enunciate the O's and kind of um, really enunciate the syllables, but actually most people just say London, which almost sounds like there's an A instead of the O, but that's just how people say it. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you're traveling to the UK or if you're hoping to visit one day, at least you will know how to say these place names correctly um, and you might impress uh, the locals because they might not be able to uh, say these words correctly, even if they're native English speakers. So I'll see you next time. Bye!